means Balder. Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos. And... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir, speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. that? No. No, 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 no. It's okay. I've got you. Brother, that groom's found a perch on high. <laughs> attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I've abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. <laughs> Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. for a good night's rest and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Baldur tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone. And now they called me Loki. And finding the shrines. The giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all dead. Dead? Do you think Odin? We do not know. I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Einhoryar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. 
They're coming down on neither Valir, too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Seal. It's been too long. I had forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Tree house. Lord Tyr, you're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. Well, I'll be. So, can we talk? About what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Hold still. Hold still. Yep. <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, dear. I'm going to turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr, sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey, come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings go on. I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Your space would be unsettling. Do you have a room closet? Yes. But it's where I keep my brooms. That's all I need. To be honest, it's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food then. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical. Put some herd on them.
Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the Allfather's eye on me. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for his safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. Expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No, I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just. Wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Frey is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air, is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh, no. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. Chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! No, what's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of...
turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah. And I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. Not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's... Venomous? Jump! Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Yes! Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. How'd the arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on. It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. <laughs> so, Tear's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching. You said you need to touch them. I like the way you think. OK, here goes nothing. <laughs> Oh. That's some quality craftsmanship. A little help would be nice. Uh, okay, right. I'll just. Take this, you dirty pile of rocks. Ah, don't touch me. Wow, Sidney, first word. Not sure he'll recover. Shut up. You want my help or not? All right, all right. Need a moment. Stop! Ah. Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. The lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent. <sighs> there. Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say no. 
That's not weird at all. anything good talk <coughs> ironwood what do you think it means it means we should have stayed home let's head back Frozen. Maybe I can. Would you just let me do it? So, what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Quite enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. <clears throat> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. 
You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet vessel, I wish it did. <gasps> ah. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living, living is an option. Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Block. Need to destroy the sonic piece first. All right. I just need to get a different angle on the soundstone. to hide things if he just trust me how can I trust you if you lie actually that's a good point <clears throat> maybe if you listen to me could I not say the same well where do you think I learned it from Ah! <laughs> 
Going up. Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? the right way. Really wish I had a compass.
got this, right? Yeah, I got it. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Yeah, fuck. Down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Oh. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. <laughs> yep, that's the door. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. Should probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin. <clears throat> nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. 
Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again, I am far from whole. Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfon. Impossible. The Nine Realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to injury. Good thing I like climbing. Yaffa! Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think... Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! <laughs> <laughs> I still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Give me a second. Nightmare. I'm gonna be sick. I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way! He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. <sighs> Will they ever quit? <laughs> 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 Okay, back 
the Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. He's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? Now? You did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure you saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh. Trey, that's where I'm planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? 
Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? No, oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alphine, the beauty drawers have actually been very last step for the world's smart. Even without the Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic exploration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. 
Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alfheim seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the Light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? <laughs> 